We sincerely invite the Yeri community to come forward and work together with us to achieve a common goal on ensuring that their community will not be left behind in the quest for financial and personal knowledge. We are happy and proud to launch our website devmula.com and I'm, I will be responsible for all the uh, information or the design of the website and together with my other partners um, we'll have James to write the content and May May will be responsible for the video uh, the video information that we put here We are very pleased to be strategic partners with Ben Kuna and others. It's, it's um, a privilege. Um, why we are involved is we believe that the financial world is becoming much more complex. Um, it's not just about keeping money in the bank now. Um, there are lots of different products out there, um, complicated products. So it's important for us to actually understand how the products work before we invest and choose wisely. Our services are for adult consumers. We have uh, some uh, deaf uh, hearing impaired uh, persons visiting uh, AKPK, uh, seeking our services to manage their debts. AKPK is there to help them. And uh, my message to everybody is to watch where your money go. Do not ask where your money went. BNA have been in the industry for the last 14 years. We manage debts for the financial, that is basically local and foreign banks. We don't want the deaf people to come into this category. We ourselves have a training center. We can actually structure and tell them how to manage their funds. Because this is something, a credit card and unsecured loans. In unsecured loans, we don't want these people to be trapped with small, small gifts and then coming into the thing. They can't manage the funds. So with all these initiatives that Devmola is doing, PNA Smart Solution willing to assist them in terms of product knowledge on the financial side. Well, financial literacy is actually one of our core pillars under our corporate responsibility initiatives. And as such, uh, we're very happy to just um, expand financial knowledge or basic money management skills across at all levels of society. So um, this is also another way that we thought that we could get involved. Our normal program is the My Finance Coach program, which is a financial literacy class for children, uh, young people aged from 11 to 18. Although it's not exactly the same um, focus group as today, but all the issues are relevant at any age and to anyone. So we always like to get involved and we're very happy to especially work with underserved communities such as the hearing impaired, visually impaired, and mobile impaired. <laughs> Deaf Mulao has three main objectives. Firstly, we want to achieve financial literacy for all deaf Malaysia because today, deaf community has limited access to financial information. So we want people to come forward to our website and get more information. And you know, today, the technology is so advanced. We got SMS, social media, Facebook. So we hope that we can use the social media to reach out to the deaf community. Secondly, we want to uh, not only financial education, but we want them to improve their life skills, like for English education, uh, high management skills, uh, social media skills, and so on. And lastly, we want them to understand how to use the website. But we are an online website, so we want them to use the website to improve uh, whatever they need. Deaf people have different experiences. 
it varies depending on their life situation. For example, he's a bachelor or he's married, they would have their own savings. They could be both, work, be both working. Now, a single person would be using their money for themselves, maybe allocate money for paying for their car loan or something. Their savings would be enough. But how would they know how to manage their money, to invest it? How do you solve money problem? Now, that's a challenge for them. Now, if a deaf person was married, they would have kids. They'd have to worry about their kids' education. They'd have more expenses. They'd have to pay for more stuff. Now, how were they going to get more money? Will they need to work more? Is that enough money for them? So how do they add more to their savings? How do they invest? Now, that's why the deaf are confused. And that's why our organization has taken up the mission to help them to be able to invest properly, to manage their money better. That's why we want to help them. That's why we help the deaf, so that they can improve their life, to be at par with other people, and not have to worry about things. They don't need to depend on their parents for help. They can be independent and manage their own money. I hope to see a lot of happy deaf people coming here today to gain experience, to be aware of financial processes, for many to enjoy the games and be happy. Now the young people to also learn the process. So we hope that they will learn. That's why we organize workshops to provide advocacy regarding the processes about financial problems, to have better experience and to gain awareness about financial matters, to have a better life, that's all. Yes, we have plans for the future. Yes, we've discussed it with the group and we're planning a business English event and workshop. We have a lot of things planned, but we want to do it slowly. We want to advocate through the website to get more deaf people to join us. That's what we like to do. Wait, wait, I'd like to add something. Now, we also don't want to just focus in KL, but we also want to go to the other states in Peninsular Malaysia and help and travel and develop poor community, communities and educate and teach them about monies and savings. You have to travel to other states and help other deaf communities, maybe in Sabah and Sarawak. One day, I hope, when we're more established. Well, we have the website deafmoodle.com. So we want them to come and use the internet to look for financial information and also to keep them up to date about our future workshop and event and so on. And also we want them to give constructive feedback or whatever they need to know or if they are not sure of about financial jargon and all this. They give us feedback and we will get back with them. We will ask the financial institution or bank or issue agency to give back the answer. Yeah, share information to be able to educate them so that they will improve. Educate them by giving different financial tips and maybe use informational videos with sign language. Now, deaf like sign videos um, in the website. We'd like to share it through different social media. It's better, easier. Deaf Talk members would like to do a monthly, monthly uh, reports and monthly meeting relating to financial planning. And also, we would like to have uh, more trainings uh, among the deaf members on financial planning. And we would like to bring this better to our nearest bank, CMB Bank, to understand, to have a discipline friendly to the deaf who went over there to uh, get themselves uh, to be registered if they want to open up a saving or cover or investment. When I was a bachelor, you know, I could, you know, I could buy technology, I, I could buy computers, anything that I wanted, really, I was just thinking of myself. But now that I'm married with children, it's very difficult. I have to think about my children's education, insurance, but I didn't know how to, you know, invest beforehand. And I felt all of my savings just kept, you know, dwindling. I didn't know how to control my expenses. I didn't know how to prepare for a more comfortable future, you know. But now I need to learn how to manage my money. But my wife works, had to stop working and, you know, t take care of our children. But we're all deaf in my family. So, I mean, if I send them to a hearing parents, I mean, what, am I, what are they going to do? You know, my children will be far away. So it's better for us, you know, 
my wife needs to be responsible for my children instead of sending them uh, other elsewhere. So my wife now works for my family and I have to earn the money. Yeah, so I have to think of all of these financial decisions and it, uh, admittedly it's very hard. You know, my wife is very wise and she saves a lot of money. Um, but she, she needs to focus more on our family development. Okay, but this one, I really learned a lot, so it helped me, so I feel I'm more prepared for our future and I can help my family build towards that future. This morning when I was watching, I felt that it really matched what's happening currently in my life and I could really relate and I have learned so much. Prior to this, really, I was very confused. Apparently, I've been doing a lot of things wrong and I didn't know how to organize my money, but now everything's so much clearer. I know exactly what I'm supposed to be doing and I feel really I could relate to a lot of the information that was shared. For the financial institutions, we would like to welcome them to work with us, you know, collaborate to conduct more uh, financial education workshops because each financial institution that the banks, insurance company, unit trust, uh, they have all their different different products. So we would like them to come forward and work with us to do series of product education because the deaf uh, community, they really need to understand what are those products out there so that when they go to the bank or they see an insurance consultant or a unit trust advisor, at least they have a background of uh, you know, the basic information, what is it all about. So that kind of helps the communication between uh, the advisor and the client. So this is what we like to see. And of course, the next thing is uh, retirement is a big uh, thing that, uh, that worries a lot of deaf people. So I would like to then also to start a series of uh, financial planning and retirement planning so that at least the deaf know how to plan for their future during the old age because we certainly don't want the deaf to fall into a category where they, they need uh, help from either the society, the government or their family members. What we want to achieve is uh, financial independence and sustainability. And of course, the business community, I would like to uh, encourage that uh, employers or business owners do, do provide employment opportunity because you know, one of the main source of income is having a career. And you can see now, during this event, you know, this financial fair, all the deaf people, they are very normal until they talk to you. you see? So, they, so we can't even see what are the skills and uh, uh, the strength or their ability until we really give them a job and then they will show you what they can do.